Hello there, everyone. Time for another Final Fantasy. Now, as you can uh, probably tell from the art, and I suppose the title I will eventually drop, and my previous announcements to the effect if you've been, you know, well, if you are watching this concurrently to um, at the time I upload it. Uh, what now? What is ready? to install what <laughs> huh excuse me just a second I have to see what this is about ah okay interesting there's an actual update for the game well 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 <laughs> I'll just install that then um right uh Final Fantasy Zodiac Age um Zodiac Age, sorry, not to sort the arc. Um, pro quality, let's put here as always. Um, now, as always, I want to spend the uh, first video trying to just, you know, talk a little about the game. Um, my, yeah, thoughts and feelings about the game and why I um, decided to play it and the like uh, let's see just let's see how this new game thing works so this is not the first time I've been playing the uh, uh, the game huh yeah so, I first played this game on the PlayStation 2, uh, back when it was new. And uh, that was the one with the completely unlocked um, license board, so... What, uh, so this here with the Zodiac Age, it is um, a radically different Final Fantasy XII, to, from what I can remember. Um, I see some good in it, but uh, my main complaints with the uh, PlayStation 2 release um, were not changed. Uh, but why don't we start with the good points? First of all, the soundtrack. It is no, no longer composed by uh, Nobuo Uematsu. Well, maybe the uh, theme that you're listening to now is kind of familiar. But uh, other than that, it is entirely scored by Hitoshi Sakimoto, if I remember correctly. He is a, a much more classically minded composer. So there is more abstract uh, appeal to his compositions than, um, well, Uematsu. I mean, don't take this as a as criticizing uh, Uematsu, it's just uh, his compositions are simpler and um, in that sense they're also easier to like. <laughs> um, yeah, let's be honest here, I actually don't like the Final Fantasy XII soundtrack as much as I liked uh, Final Fantasy X or seven even. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think, um, did Sakimoto do the soundtrack for Breath of Fire 5 Dragon Quarter? If so, well, he does do good soundtracks too, just, <laughs> um, most of the soundtrack here I care nothing about, I don't like it, sorry. Mm. But, and this is a big but here, the final boss fight in Final Fantasy XII, as I remember it, that music is really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty much have to uh, sit through some um, artsy, uh, weird, uh, with 
yeah, yeah, weird stuff with really thick harmonies all the way up to the end where it gets uh, epic and good. <laughs> and, well, the Esper fights, uh, they're good too. The, um, battle, the battle music with those. Um, yeah. Final Fantasy XII overall, I think, is so far the lowest point for me in the Final Fantasy series. Franchises, well, games if you prefer it that way. Well, um, arguably 10 2 or 13 2 as well, but um, out of the games I tried when they were new, so I would say, because I never did try 10 2 when it was new. Ha! Did try 13 2 when it was new. Um, but, well, it did have some merits. Um, for me, well, there's a lot of game world in Final Fantasy XII too. I suppose I shouldn't uh, dismiss that either. Um, and um, I think that is the strongest um, selling point of the game. It is a really big world. There's a lot of lore behind it. Um, and it goes in... Well, some of the experts at least um, we get some dictionary entries or encyclopedia things um, that go into just really intricate his historic details I don't know how much of that is a reference to Final Fantasy Tactics which is uh, another game that takes place in the same game world which would be great if I had any relationship <laughs> Well, it would be great if I had played Final Fantasy Tactics and enjoyed that game, which I have not on both counts. I mean, I um, may have tried. <clears throat> Let's not uh, expand on that uh, tactics game, just um, it never appealed to me. Not even slightly. I can't explain why, it just did not appeal to me, and that is all there is to say about it. Um, so I will be missing a lot of references to Final Fantasy Tactics if those appear in the game. Um, what else? Ah, uh, yeah, the gameplay. That is um, mostly what I don't like about the game. Um, Titan. Good for you. Um, what I thought was worst when the game was new, back on the PS2 days, was the whole setup of the Gambit system. The Gambit system itself, uh, as in uh, the premise of having AI controlled uh, party members, uh, following the behavior you set for them, I am completely fine with that. I have no complaint with that in itself. But how they implemented it, how cumbersome it is to control that AI. Um, now, I think I've stated that uh, Xenosaka episode one um, takes maybe uh, 50 odd hours to finish and out of that you spend maybe uh, between a fourth and a third of the time just purchasing stuff in menus and uh, setting up your skills. Final Fantasy 12 with the gamut system I think is even worse. I mean to be fair there is a lot less time actually spent setting up your configurations because there's a lot of there's a lot more ground to cover between when you need to change up your setup. Uh, but well, with all the licenses you have to well buy from shops, or the bazaar, uh, looking for hunts, um, well the purchasing licenses and figuring out where to purchase them to begin with, and just the license board itself. 
Um, this game probably um, objectively has you looking through menus more than Xenosaga Episode 1 did. Now, this is a much longer game though. Um, I don't remember how much I spent on my first playthrough. Could have been something like 100, 110 hours in that area. That is, well, roughly twice as long as Xenosaga Episode 1. <laughs> uh, was that only 80 hours? Well, anyway, it's a longer game, either way I slice it. Which also means that um, the menu time is diluted. You do a lot of it in the beginning, and progressively less so as you progress through the game. And um, you can have a sort of generic, uh, this works for every situation kind of setup, and just um, basically forget about the whole setup thing until you fight some stupid boss somewhere. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I have, I am lukewarm to the whole system. So, uh, for this playthrough, I have been uh, well. I have noticed somewhere that you should be able to play the game with the uh, well more um, customary. Uh, player inputs uh, like you'd see in um, Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy 7 or 8, 9, 10. Mm. Instead of relying on the gamut system. I will try that for um, well, the first few episodes of the main game. Mm. Not sure how it will play out in the uh, sort of tutorial dungeon, but I will be experimenting with that. So, um, anything else? Hmm. Oh yeah, I suppose I can drop a controversial opinion on you. I don't think Penelo and Vaughn are bad characters. Sick burn. Now I'm going to be demonetized and uh, downloaded out of the internet. Thank you very much, internet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've I've seen why people don't think they're good, and I do think there is some merit to the to their arguments. Just uh, uh, I I accept them as characters. I don't have any problem with them being what they are. They make sense to me in the context uh, that they are presented to us in the game. Which is, you know, <laughs> not as the main players, like both here, I'm told, actually was meant to be. So think of that for a second. Final Fantasy XII, with both here as the main character. Who knows, maybe I can make him my main playable character throughout the uh, parts of the game where he is in the party. That might be a thing. Hmm. What else? I talked about the music, mentioned the characters a little anyway. Uh, yeah, I think the uh, studio went back to a sort of Final Fantasy VI approach with how they handled who the, ma who the main character was supposed to be. That is to say, most of them could, uh, I mean, could be the main character. For the player, uh, I mean, um, you start as Terra basically, but then Locke comes in, and um, I think the first time I played Final Fantasy VI, he was my you know, canonical main character. But what about Celis? Why not Terra? Why not Seven? Uh, why would Cyan be in a? Uh... Oh. Okay, maybe he's less useful in combat, fair enough, but <laughs> uh, you get what I mean, right? There's no obvious protagonist in that game. They are all on the same quests, but they just join at different times. Um, that is, I think, uh, one of the things they try with this game. 
you could argue though that um, in the context of, in the context of the overarching story ash is uh, the more pivotal character and uh, well her journey through the game but uh, what about Bosch breaking out of prison or oh, being broken out of prison and uh, well fighting his way back to I don't know a higher place in society or a place befitting his um, integrity and honor uh, I don't know if Fran is very uh, it's very central. I mean, okay. No, n never mind. Never mind. I I will I will think about Fran later. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's another controversial opinion, by the way. I don't find Fran attractive. Well, at least from the waist up. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. No, I I I just feel weird about the old bunny thing. It just doesn't do it for me. Now, what I think is a um, really fantastic bit of work with this game, one thing they excelled and just should be in the industry leaders in, is the localization. Just how they use the different uh, speech patterns and dialects and uh, uh, even vocabulary. Um, now, I'm not saying Final Fantasy X was bad. Uh, it wasn't perfect, it, but it was far from bad. It was very competent. This is artful. Just what, what they do with um, and you, just everything about it. It is fantastic. Um, now, the uh, direction may have improved uh, after Final Fantasy XII, um, but it's just the art of it, the creativity that, uh, that the localization team uh, exhibited here. I don't think that has been surpassed by any game since. So, for translation nerds like myself, it, if you haven't come across this game before, please stay tuned. You're gonna love it. Well, if you're a nerd like me. Okay. I'm about ready to wrap this up and um, try a new game plus. So I'll just explain a bit about the uh, setup I'm going for here. I will try to do a new game plus based on my, well, starting from my endgame characters uh, from my previous playthrough. Um, I assume that means I will carry over levels and equipment and whatever else. And I realize that this will make the, <laughs> um, the fights very uninteresting. But um, another thing that I don't think is very interesting is watching me struggle to get through dungeon uh, such and such or struggling as a boss somewhere. I just don't want to do that. I want to just uh, talk about stuff going on and just um, focus on that and not spend uh, time just raging against the difficulty and the balancing and just <laughs> being bad at the, uh, um, well, meta game, I guess. Uh, spoiler alert, I am bad at this game. <laughs> so, it's going to be mainly casual. Uh, just going through the story. I may do some mark hunts here and there. Um, I mean, if you if you are completely new to the game, uh, mark hunts is basically a special side quest where you undertake a hunt for a specific enemy. And... Um, some have really specific conditions to actually encountering it in the first place, and uh, let's just say that I am not doing the King Behemoth hunt ever again 
in my entire life. Fuck that hunt. With a passion. Now, uh, the other hunts are not as fiendish as that one, but um, I found that most hunts really do challenge the player even more than a final boss. I mean, maybe that's just me. Maybe I really am really bad at the game. But that is another reason I won't be doing the hunts. Maybe I will show one or two. Uh, I think we have to do the first hunt. Uh, I think that's uh, mandatory for progressing with the game. But all the other hunts are optional. Mm, I have been... Well, I have received some requests to uh, challenge uh, Gilgamesh. Um, I'll look into what I need to do that. Uh, if if I need to do some hunts to get that particular quest to trigger, well, I could always go back and do the hunts off camera and uh, then go back and do that quest and um, everyone will be happy. I hope. <laughs> oh. Another new thing to the uh, uh, PlayStation 4 release, by the way, is the uh, trial mode, which is... Oh, what's this now? Uh, uh, whatever, I'll just load up that save data. And um, let's see what this is about. Yeah, that is uh, the uh, Swedish uh, text. <laughs> uh, Swedish uh, localized interface. Straight off the uh, Sony PS4 UI things. Ah. Oh, it puts you in here instantly. Boo. This is... Why is... Okay, well... Did I win? Oh, okay. Yes, please. Back to title. Okay, well that was a cringe fest. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> since I obviously um, don't know much about it, I will inform you that Trimal is just uh, essentially a gauntlet. Uh, progressively harder, and then, uh, I don't know, I think you can get special items from it too. I haven't really looked into it. Uh, I won't be doing that on camera. I will just uh, <clears throat> focus on uh, the story, do a sort of new game plus. Oh, yeah, sure, let's do this. Also, that. Reorchestrated? Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, um, let the game begin, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, casual, not a completionist run. Huh. Do we need vibration function or something? Not sure we do. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah. Um at some point I will start um sort of setting the uh a dungeon exploration uh, bits of the videos to, uh, uh, well, speed mode, I don't know, uh, well, maybe not in the game, but probably um, 
<clears throat> as a sort of post edit, uh, post production uh, editing sort of thing. Uh, that's typically not what I um, uh, would be interested in. Um, if there are dungeons you want me to, definitely don't uh, speed things up or situations. Uh, please let me know ahead of time, and uh, I will um, I will be careful to do just that. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I think uh, that is all, and I'll just uh, start the game now. Um, and uh, we'll see whether I succeed at starting the uh, new game with the OST for music. Right, this has been um, a long presentation. <laughs> see you in the rest of the Let's Play.